My name is John Waldrop. I'm the team lead for 2013 for the Formula SAE team here at Cal Poly in San Luis Obispo, California. We're currently toward the end of our process for 2013. We began the concept and design of the car about 15 months ago, and in two weeks we'll be heading off to Lincoln, Nebraska for the Formula SAE competition. We start off with the design of the car, and we move into manufacturing and eventually testing, and finally we take it to competition. Uh, this year we'll be competing uh, against 80 to 100 other schools. Uh, there are a lot of events involved in the competition. The first events are static events, uh, so we have to pass some tech inspection, and uh, we also are judged on the design of the car, uh, the cost of the car, and uh, our, our marketing of the car and, and its marketability. For dynamic events, we compete in acceleration and skid pad and autocross. And finally, we compete in an endurance race, which is about 20 minutes long. Uh, we go for fastest lap times or most distance completed during the race. And we're, we're also graded on the fuel economy of the car. So starting from the design of the car, we are aiming for a, a certain finishing at the competition. And this year, we have the potential to finish in the top 10. So from the beginning of design 15 months ago until now, uh, we've, that's what we've been aiming for. So the way our team is organized is we have the team lead who's in charge of the management of the team. Uh, we also have a technical director who's in charge of the design of the car and also the data acquisition system. We have a very extensive data acquisition on our car uh, to make the most of what the driver is doing and to learn how the car is performing. We also have a manufacturing lead who's in charge of advising during manufacturing and organizing manufacturing in our machine shops here at Cal Poly. Then we have our sub-team leads on the car. Uh, so we have six different subsystems, uh, chassis, aero, engine, suspension, driver controls, and drivetrain. Each of those subsystems has a certain number of people in charge, and so those people will lead uh, groups of other team members to design and manufacture the components for that system and also maintaining and fixing any issues because we always run into some issues that need to be fixed. Last year during testing we had a lot of mechanical failures and so we made our goal this year to avoid all those failures to maximize our testing time. Uh, this year we succeeded in doing that. Most of the issues that we've run into this year have been electrical related. We have a really demanding electrical system with our engine control and data acquisition. So we began this year with suspension testing and then moved straight into driver training. We learned last year at competition that driver training is incredibly important because if you have a fast car but drivers who don't know how to drive it, then you're not going to do very well in any of the dynamic events. Um, so right now we're still in the driver training phase. Um, eventually we'll, we'll move into a bit more testing if possible and we have um, some more detailed adjustments that we can do in the suspension. Overall, Formula SAE is a really amazing experience for college students interested in race cars or engineering or building something or simply being part of a project in some way, shape or form. Formula SAE is really the best way to do that. It's truly a real world engineering project from the creation to the conclusion of it, all the way from the second we sit down and figure out what we want to do the next year to our competition that following year. For a lot of people, the most worth that they get out of going to college is being a part of the Formula SAE team and getting that experience, and that's what people in the industry want to see from us. Being a part of such a large and interesting project is it's very fulfilling and it's very fun. Uh, you make a lot of friends that will probably last the rest of your lifetime. You learn a lot of skills that will certainly last the rest of your lifetime and it sets you up to learn uh, once, once you're out in the real world doing those same things and you can relate back and say, hey, I did that on the Formula SAE team at Cal Poly. Everyone involved with the team this year has done an awesome job and we're going to go and compete in Lincoln, Nebraska, Formula SAE competition and we think we can really do well there.